Lone Wolf Customs once again. 72 step side hemi swap project. I got started before I could, could access the phone. Anyways, fixing to do this. Let me show you what I've done so far. Pull the pistons out. They're all right here. I was going to do an old school trick of flipping the pistons, but my measurements show that that's pretty well dead center, so I don't think it's going to make a difference of flipping the pistons to retime the compression stroke, but in top dead center. So, I ain't going to pull with that. But, got my stones. I'm putting new rings in it, so. I gotta, you know, start that. I drilled and tapped the timing cover into the water passage because the Phytech needs a temperature sensor and I don't want to lose my gauge because here's the factory location. I don't want to lose the gauge. So, I drilled and tapped a second one, which... I think I can hold it and show you. You know, basically. It'll work. So, got that started. Got some stones for your budget friendly guys. Instead of buying a high dollar bottle, they don't even make anymore. Mountain Dew bottle, cut a little hole in it, fill it up with gas. You can wash the cylinders down. Best fluid you can use to do this is freaking gas. Lubricates just a little, but it also lets it cut good. So, unfortunately, I'm one man. And I ain't gonna be able to show you this is doing this. But basically, you put the stones in the hole. You move them up and down as you're spinning it. If I remember correctly, off the top of my head, I think you're wanting somewhere around a 45 degree cross hatch. I can't remember the exact, I know what it's supposed to look like. I can't remember the exact measurement. You gotta think I've been doing this shit by memory for a while and eyeball mostly. So, I guess I'll show you more when I have more to show you. All right. Let's see, turn the light on. Is the light on? Yep, light's on. All right. Might not be able to see this worth of shit. But they're all cleaned up. There's some staining, but I don't give a shit. I just need it roughed up so it'll seat the new rings and then I washed everything down with gas it's a good trick it's a good trick you know works good then it evaporates off but now setting the rings I don't know if I'll show that or not. Really should focus. All right. All right. I ain't sure if this will show up. Let's see here. All right. That rare one is the new rings. This Ford one. Well, there's no gap, other gap, i got to get my uh, measuring dit and freaking measure that one, that's the old ring, that's a new ring. Alright, for those who want to know, I'm setting the piston in, or setting the ring in. Using the piston, slide her in, flushed, square it up, 
and I'm going in there took my calipers I measured out what I wanted this is two this is an oil ring oil ring doubled up it's the thickness right at the thickness I want and I'm measuring them out and there she is and I pull them out use a flat file put them right here on the edge file them put them in test it pull them out file them until I get them where I want them all right back to you all right <clears throat> top ring bottom ring filed the fit to what cylinder put on the pistons all eight of them <clears throat> Cylinder bores are a little dirtier now because of the rings, but they're all dead. So now I just got to put the oil rings on, punch them in. Now for those who are going to say that those are gapped way too big, one, I'm setting it up in case the thing overheats for any reason. You know, the fans die, blow a hose, whatever. You know, I am going to run this thing hard, so excessive cylinder temperatures are very probable. Actually, more likely than anything. On top of that, I have a nitrous kit. I might at one point decide to put nitrous on it. Or I may decide to boost it with turbos, supercharger, or anything. I don't have to tear the engine back open. So... There's your answer. The rings ain't never going to touch unless I literally melt the engine down and at that point everything is at risk of dying. So it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. All right. Putting the pistons in. Assembly lube. Door rings on. Our spring compressor thingy fell on the floor. So that's what I'm doing. You know, pretty standard stuff. Didn't flip them, didn't spin them. Be all right. All right, all eight pistons are in. So, like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for watching. Next video, we'll do more. All right, bye.